Right. So, let's go back to the Sea of Tears, but now it's the Dark Sea of Tears, because it's evil and stuff. Veil of Darkness, because it is pitch black now. And um, this is the change mechanic that um, is introduced for this level. Uh, pretty much everything is um, incredibly dark. So, you've got to hit these lightning bugs, and, um, lightning bug is the name of the first track here. And you've got to use them to give you some light, and um, they don't, well, I don't think they respawn. So, um, you have got to go quickly if you, um, want to keep the light. Stupid glebs! Or flat cannon. And I need him to get up. Gosh darn it. Now, I think this is an interesting moment. Well, it's not that interesting moment all to get. You've just got to time you jump. But, um, well, time you jump, you throw, I should say. So, yes, um, Sea of Tears is one of the other levels that you um, have to revisit. So, we've had Volk City. We've had, um... Lalakusha, we've got Sea of Tears. I wonder if there'll be any more that we have to revisit. I honestly can't remember if there are. Um, actually, no, I don't think there is another one. I, th I think this is the last um, repeat level. And. I think now we've gone into um, Lightning Moon. That was the stupidest move I've ever made, that one. Now, as sort of the level progresses, well, if you don't get, make sure you get um, light, you dark blue particle things will come after you. And if you run out of light, they will attack you, and if they hit you, you are obviously dead. So you're kind of going to want to, um, you know, keep the lights going. Now let's not jump into the flames. It's not the smartest idea in the world. No. Ah. Uh, this is getting a bit too close for comfort. I need light. 
Oh, thank gosh. Got there just in time. Now I do I do like sort of these um, using a load of moves in one go to get through things. It's, it, it, it's an interesting sort of mechanic. Um, obviously, the original Klonoa made it a lot easier to um, not die at because of the um, whirlwind move. But why would you want to use the whirlwind move? Well, I mean, I think I did because I was failing miserably. But in here, you you should be good enough at the game now to be able to pull off the awesomeness of um, just hitting them one after the other. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Right, so yeah, you've got to use the keyton to get that last um, moment gold piece there. And then you've got to um, follow afterwards. Always fun when you have to do that, isn't it? Okay, we're nearly there. There's loads of um, gems that you can get in this area. I'm going to try and get most of them. Because I feel like it. Obviously, you only need to um, spend longer in this area if you are, you know, going after all of the gems. Um, obviously I'm not, so I'm being incredibly lazy. Oh, that one does respawn. Oh, I didn't know that. But I think the rest of them don't respawn, so you, you need to be um, careful with your use of the lightning bugs. No, I wanted those. So I think we, here we have a new version of Lirina. Well, Lirina's theme. Oh dear. This isn't going to go well. Oh, this is Dracula's called Oak. Last ship, I think. Oh, 
Oh no, the, the, the track that's playing now is Opla Ship, I believe. Yeah, this is Opla Ship. Oh, it shows up so pretty now. But it's still there. I'm confused. Is it like its spirit appeared now or something? I guess I'll just go with that one. Gosh darn it, the arena! Why do you do this to me? Yeah, didn't think about that one. Um. Yes, we gotta follow that arc. God, the moon's big. I didn't realise it was so huge. Okay, now that um, the Sea of Tears has kind of been drained, um, the, uh, ty the um, map music goes from Lunatea Waltz, which I really love, to um, After a Convulsion. It sounds a bit bleak if you ask me, but uh, kind of, it kind of fits. So yeah, the Sea of Tears is completely drained! Oh, uh, that's weird. We've got to go there. Quick as we can. Right on, bro. And so begins our penultimate, um... Boarding level, the empty sea of tears beyond the sands. Now, if I recall correctly, I'm a bit of a div at the start of this. Because you can fall off the edge here, it, it's not like the other stages where it's a bit nicer. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, retry that. I was gonna edit it out, but I didn't get the same thing over, so I just thought, oh, I'll be lazy for once. So yes, you can fall off the edge of um, this level, so be careful. Um, 
this track, which is quite awesome, is called um, The Sorrow Revives. And it's, it's, it's kind of just like a bit of a remix of like going to Lunatea, which I think is quite awesome. Because you can hear the bits of the Lunatea thing going do 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 within it. Which is really cool if you ask me. I like it when games have the little motifs that play throughout certain songs. Really adds sort of character to them. Now if you're wondering what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for, um, well, I, di I didn't need to wait at all, I could have just wasted those black, land, uh, black cannons, but I wanted that moment, doll. Now I will say that these levels do get quite difficult. I mean, this one in particular is quite a challenge, and it's also quite difficult to get all the moment doll pieces because you really got to be on the ball. Because I mean, there's all these gaping holes in the uh, middle of the level, and also it's it's really easy to fall off as you're about to see. You, you've got to be really spot on with your um, turning to make a move like that. And I don't get my extra life again. No! Oh well. Get, if you want to get all the dream stones in this, good luck to you, yeah, because it's hard. I mean, look at, look at that one. That's really evilly placed. And there's a couple like this one, which, there's like one or two like that in this level, where they're just at the edge of a falling platform and it's just like, oh, you meanies. <laughs> this got growing incredibly quickly, we're riding on the bones of some sort of dragon-like, well, I wouldn't say dragon-like, I'd say lizard-like? Well, centipedal lizard like creature. Now, when that happens, you know that you've got to harvest so you can get that moment doll piece. Got it? Good. So, when there's two, get in both of them and you'll be fine. As long as you hover to get there in time. Now, I, th I think sort of these last few levels is one of the places where Klonoa 2 really does shine. It's it just sort of it shows how a, a kids game this I mean this is a kids game can get really epic and really awesome. It's just got such excellent design, I think, in some of these final stages that it's just awesome. It, it's such a shame that Glenoa has never been the most commercially successful game ever. Because it's such a wonderful franchise. I'm sure you've been able to see here, it's brilliant. It deserves so much more recognition than it gets. And if there was ever a Klonoa 3 made, or a remake of Klonoa 2 here, I would be on that like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> It, it, it's just a great franchise. So if you find either the Klonoa we make or Klonoa 2, which I think is the better game, get them! <laughs>